uh, faced with a fourth down situation. Looks like about a fourth and four. As up to this point, uh, Fort Sumner's pretty much dominated the first quarter. The Yellow Jackets are down 12-0. Uh, it would be a huge boost if they could pick up a first down right here. They have the ball. The Yellow Jackets have the ball. The Fort Sumner looks like the 20... What would that look like? 27, 20, 28. 27, but, uh, 28 yeah. yard line here. Jackets are getting a little momentum. I mean, uh, some positive things have definitely happened. They've got some good runs on the outside. Nothing up the middle yet. Uh, so the Jackets, see if we can't get something creative here. I'm fourth and about five, trailing by 12. Jackets set up. Colby sets his team now. A little bit different set now with, with uh, Trujillo on the left side. Trujillo's going to keep it, run the option left, and is stopped immediately. Tries to... Uh, run the option to the left set their team going motion to the left side handoff again to Dimitrov right off the left side pick up of uh, six yards again it just looks like Fort Sumner is just getting a humongous push off their offensive line and getting leverage and just hitting the hole really hard and really quick Jackets are trying to make uh, some defensive decisions uh, they have changed up a little bit there if you notice they they're bringing six and seven on the line but as of yet, not able to stop the Foxes. Foxes come out this time. They're spread out a little bit. They've got twins set to the right side. But go right up the middle on a lead play. And a pickup of five for a first down. It's going to be at the Yellow Jacket 45-yard line, first and ten. They're coming off the right side now. It looks like he kind of wanted to throw it, then decided not to. He missed a tackle, missed another tackle. And then basically the Jackets got there and recovered really well. Nice play there by Eric Trujillo. Uh, Ronald Cruz was there initially and missed the tackle, but Eric Cruz and Gus Wood looked like they did a great job closing out on that for a pickup basically of no yards, so That's it makes it second and 20. First time tonight the Jackets uh, got everybody involved on defense. Cruz again strung, strung the play out, uh, let some Jackets come in and help him out for a no game. Fox has set their team here now with a uh, Twins left, and they run the option left. Sinet's going to keep it, keep it, and keep it, and keep it, and picked up 12 and gets a nice play there by their quarterback, and that is uh, Barry Stinnett, and he's a senior at 6'3", 180, and was able to pick up some positive yards for the Fort Sumner Foxes, which is going to make it a third and nine situation here for Fort Sumner. Jack has lost containment along the right end that time. Uh, Sinet could have run probably a little bit longer, but Jackets got there just in time for just a gain of about 11. Third down. Fox has set their team. They look like they're going to throw it. A bootleg off to the right side. He's got nothing room. but green grass. Trujillo comes up, misses a tackle. We miss another tackle there. We finally get him down the tackle there by number 44 for the Yellow Jackets. So that had all kinds of room. Uh, option bootleg out to the right. A lot of green grass. Just made his way down the right-hand side. Jackets missed a couple tackles there. Uh, Jorge Gonzalez was able to get him, wrestle him out of bounds. As the Fort Sumner Fox is going to start on the 25, first and 10. The Jackets really need to make a stop here uh, so they don't get down by three touchdowns early in the game. We've got 8.21 to go, 8.20 to go here in the second quarter. Fort Sumner on top, 12-0. And Stanette's going to set his team with a wing right situation, split receiver left, motion left. They run a counter up the middle, slow developing, and the Jackets are able to stuff that for a pickup of maybe a yard. Yeah, Trujillo in the middle uh, did a nice job breaking through the line of scrimmage. Fort Sumner looked like they were a little unsure of the handoff there as it took just a little long to develop, gave the Jackets time to stuff the middle, and Jackets held them for just about a one-yard gain there. It's going to make it second and nine for Fort Sumner, and they have the ball on their Yellow Jacket 24-yard line as they come out in a wing right formation. Motion left. Big hole. Hand off, and they go off the left tackle. That would be number 23, Laramie Simmons again off the left side for a pickup of about, looks like, uh, five yards. Yeah, I've got to bring it up about uh, third and five, third and six. Uh, we had the middle there once again by Wood, made a good tackle, getting a lot of action. Uh, looks like it could have been a bigger yeah, hole. Jackson did a good job. Trujillo was open, just couldn't get him the ball. So the Jackets are now into a punting situation. 
again, and uh, it'll be uh, Eric Trujillo back to punt for the Yellow Jackets as they have a fourth and long situation. Good snap. Pretty good punt. Not great, but now the punt fumbled. was fumbled, and it's still on the ground. Still on the ground. As, Fort Sumner uh, recovered. Fort Sumner recovered there. Nice hit there by number seven for the Yellow Jackets. Yeah, Scott Rael made a good good play on the ball. Uh, the Fort Sumner Fox guy could not hang uh, on to it. Bounced around set out to the right side and come up with Dimitrov off the right side. On a handoff, he's got room. He turns a corner, and he is gone all the way down the sideline before he's finally brought down by uh, Jorge Gonzalez. Jorge brought Gonzalez, uh, after a pickup of about 35 yards, he ran all the way to the Yellow Jacket, 38 yards. Jackets come out and go trips right, three guys spread out right, shotgun, split left, True Heels over here on the left side. True Heel sets up. Goes back, looks like a uh, maybe a quarterback draw, breaks one tackle. Needs to get outside. Tries out to bounds. break another and didn't and uh, didn't get out of bounds either. So uh, I don't know if we're going to call a timeout here. we got 20 seconds to go, and then finally the Jackets do call timeout. Looks to me like he's at a little bit different level than everybody else are out on the football field. They come out in twins off to the right side. We look a little, Jackets look a little confused. They go right up the middle. Dimitrov with Dimitrov the carry. Dimitrov and the carry. A pickup of about four and a half yards. Diller made a good stop in the middle there. Along with Gus Wood. Pickup of about five. Leave it second and five. We're in the third quarter now. The uh, Again, Fort Sumner's up 26-0. We're at 11-24 to go here in the third quarter. Fort Sumner breaks a huddle, comes out, and they've got a strong set up to the right side, a wing right. Send motion left and go quick pitch to the left side. And this is a very good play here, and that's going to be, again, number 23. That's Laramie Simmons for a pickup of about, uh, looks like about 8 to 10 yards there as he gets down inside the Jacket 32-yard line. You bet. Jackets right now need to... Uh Get a little spare back in them. They look a little dejected. They're going to have to get a stop here if uh, we want to start putting a dent back into that score. Yeah, otherwise this, this thing could turn into uh, a serious blowout here real quick. First out of ten for the Foxes. They go right up the middle to Dimitrov, breaks a tackle, breaks another tackle, gets out to the right side and uh, slipped. If he wouldn't have slipped, it probably would have gone for a touchdown. Yeah, but he, he was did. home free right there, Dimitrov. Easily danced, went up the play, went up the middle, took it out to the right side. No one was going to catch him. Slipped on the wet turf, a break for the Jackets. Let's see if we can't capitalize here. First and 10 for Fort Sumner at the Yellow Jacket 21-yard line as they break their huddle and step up. And Barry Stinnett will set his team with, again, a strong right formation, tight end right, wing right. Motion by Simmons to the left side. He's going to hand off up the middle on a delayed, kind of like a, a delayed handoff. And uh, yeah, that and play, they've ran that a couple times and it hadn't been very successful. No, and each time they've ran it, it seemed to be kind of a mix-up between the quarterback and the running back. That was Griffin that time as uh, the Foxes had a hard time turning around, finding his runner, and the Jackets able, to, with that delay, to get a stop and uh, actually a loss of about one on the play. Second and 11 for Fort Sumner as they come out and shotgun. They got twins left, split right, with a back in the backfield with Stinnett. Shotgun. It's going to go up the middle of Dimitrov, and he goes off left tackle. Big hole. Wide open, touchdown. Big hole right there, just a simple. Nothing. Nothing in the way. Wasn't even touched. Nope, Dimitrov ran it's behind him. Uh, opportunity maybe to uh, throw the ball a little bit. Yeah, we definitely get, get an opportunity to open it up, and that's what we're doing. Trips going to the right. Yep, we're in trips right, split left. Kobe Trujillo and shotgun. Motion left by Obermeyer. We got the snap. He's going to roll out to the left side, throws nice it out here. Nice pass. Caught there by number 34 for the Yellow Jackets, who does a good job and gets a late hit out of bounds as well. Picks up uh, all the way.